Allora, welcome back to Pasta with Gianluca. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Sunday Sessions. It's me, Gianluca. Uh, today we're making another Italian pasta dish and today we're doing puttanesca. I like puttanesca because the name means whore, innit? And I'm watching Sopranos loads and all they say is hua or whoa or like all these other Italian phrases that the, the, the American Italians use. Um, also, I feel that it's one of those things that we should all fucking know how to make. It's a quick bish bash bosh pasta that celebrates everything that's from Naples. Um, so we're talking capers, olives, tomatoes, anchovies, garlic. The good shit, five big fuck off cloves of garlic, right? That I'm gonna slice. And as we all know, when we make pastas, I like to slice my garlic pretty thinly. I like to think of it as that scene in The Goodfellas where they're all in prison and Paulie's chopping the garlic with a razor blade, yeah? So you wanna get it that thin just to help it cook down, but also it releases its maximum flavor that way, yeah? So nice and thin. That's pretty much all the prep I've had to do for this. Everything else is like measure by a tablespoon, stick it in a pan, let it cook down. So I'm gonna get my pan on Nice high heat, a little drizzle of some nice olive oil. And we're gonna go in with our garlic. Now we want the garlic to slowly, casually start to fry. Because what we're gonna do is we're almost like building a base to cook our tomatoes in. When our garlic slowly starts to fry, we're gonna go in with our next ingredient, which is anchovy, right? So this is all about like building layers of flavour throughout the tomato sauce, but cooking everything to the right point. So look, we're slowly starting to fry. I'm going an entire tin of nice anchovies, right? Oil, everything, fuck it, stick it inside. The anchovies is gonna give us like a saltiness, an umaminess, and they're gonna melt and bleed into our sauce, right? Let the anchovies cook down. Gonna go in, tablespoon of chili flakes. Chili flakes, yeah? Chili flakes in. I went for the hottest ones I could find. Two hundred grams of pitted black Italian olives. It's gonna give us another layer of saltiness. Let those fry off. Next, two tablespoons of capers, right? Like that. Uh, you can use sorted capers, you can use capers in brine, whatever you can get your hands on. And now we've got like this deep, delicious color. Our garlic slowly starting to crisp. Our anchovies have evaporated into fuck all but flavor. Now at this point, you wanna cook your base for a little while, keep it moving, but you wanna get a little bit of color on an olive, you want a little bit of color on a caper, you want all the chili flakes to run through the entire dish. And now by like juggling the pan and stirring at the same time, I'm not allowing anything to burn or catch. It's all about being in control, right? Now, I'm not adding salt to this at the minute because I've put a whole load of salty shit in. I've got olives, I've got anchovies, I've got capers. We have to watch it. We can taste it at the end and figure out whether we need salt or not, but for now, I'm not gonna season it. What I am gonna do is going in with about an eighth of skunk. Haha, <laughs> that was a joke. This is actually flowering oregano. Um, one, two big pinches, right? And that's gonna give us like, I feel like oregano's got a fruitiness. Smells changed, now it smells like cypress. It's all cooked down. Everyone's got to meet each other, said hello. Wagwan, what's good? Yeah, anchovy, yeah, my guy. They've all seen each other, all met each other. We're all here now. And then from there, I'm gonna go two tins of washed San Marzano tomatoes, yeah? I don't use the, the stuff that's in the can, I just use the tomatoes. I'm gonna give them a little squeeze in my hands. And then this is gonna cool down our pan. Break the tomatoes in. 
So when you first add your tomatoes, and it's not going to look like enough tomato, right? But when the tomato comes up to temperature, it's going to release its water. Look, you can see it happening here. It's going to release out its water and its juices, and that's going to carry through the sauce, right? We almost want tomato to be the binder. Yeah, we want a red sauce, but we want all of this good shit in it as well, yeah? I'm going to let this cook until all that moisture has evaporated. And then basically, all we need to do now is make sure we've got a pan of water on the boil and some pasta. Piece of piss. Easy, isn't it? Yeah, let it do its thing. Puta Nesca. Puta Nesca. Um, our pasta sauce is cooking down. I'm just going to cut up some parsley because we're going to need this to finish the sauce, right? I just feel like parsley is one of the greatest things. And by all means, you can use basil, use whatever the fuck you want, but I just feel like parsley lives up to like the robustness of this pasta sauce. We've cooked off all of our liquid, and this hasn't been on long, man. This has been, I'd say, 10 minutes. And we're pretty much there to go. Like, once the tomatoes start to break down, everything's soft. This is pretty much almost there. So I'm gonna go inside, bring out my boiling pan of water, and we're just gonna cook our pasta, toss it, and eat a nice bowl of pasta together. Water's up to the boil. I'm gonna turn the putanesca down a little bit. Now, we need to make sure. What a barbarian. We need to make sure that our pasta water is seasoned, yeah? It tastes like the sea. Because we've not put any salt in our pasta though. You don't put salt in pasta though, you put salt in the pasta water. I've got some fresh pasta that I made earlier, which is probably enough for about three people, yeah? Now, because this is fresh pasta, it's going to cook really fucking fast. So we're going to have to do a little swapsy swapsy of pans and stuff. I just want to make sure that this boils. So this is a tagliatelle that I made. Just like a little flat pasta, right? Which I feel like with tomato sauce gives you that slurpy deliciousness that we all want from pasta, yeah? So in that goes. Let it come to the boil. Sauce is getting there. Well, sauce is there, actually. It's nice. It's thick. It's all come together, no liquid left in it. Now, the reason I cook pasta sauces until the liquid comes out is because when we toss pasta, we use the pasta water to bring the sauce back around the pasta, right? So cook that until it's bone dry, and then we're gonna add pasta water until we create that luxurious, <laughs> that was like slow-mo, luxurious pasta glossiness, right? This is fresh pasta, yeah? So it's not going to take long. From here now, I'm going to swap hands, put an esca comes back. Pasta goes over there. At this point, I can add just a little glug of pasta water, just so that I know that my pasta is not going to catch, right? Just add a little bite on my pasta. Al dente, seasoned, cooked, finished. I'm going to add the pasta into the sauce, right? Don't be scared to trickle in a little bit of pasta water to thin your sauce out. And then at this point, we're going to stir and bring it together. I'm gonna stir and bring it together, right? Now, I can see now already, fucking hell, man, this thing's so hot. I can see now already that we've cooked off most of the pasta water that I've added, right? We wanna add more water in. So the reason we pull pasta out al dente so that we can finish the pasta in the pan, the pasta then soaks up the pasta water in the sauce and creates like a barrier and a coating whilst your pasta continues to cook. So. In here now, see how I can toss it. Ow! Fuck! See how I can toss it, just like that. 
and it's still quite watery. Now what's going to happen is we're going to add a good splash of olive oil and our olive oil is going to emulsify and thicken that water so that it all becomes a sauce, right? So you need to do this over a high heat. You need to keep it moving. So I'm stirring and tossing at the same time almost. And then from there, I'm going to go into full toss. And you're going to see the way the liquid changes. And it goes from watery to thick. So we started off with like longer droplets and now we've got like little sploshes, yeah? That's my oil emulsified into my pasta sauce. From here, we move into finishing and I just want my parsley to go in. And I don't want to cook my parsley into my sauce. I want the parsley to keep its vibrancy. Heat off. Pasta's changed colour, it's soaked up all of our delicious sauce. You need to think of pasta and sauce of one entity, you know what I mean? Not separate. It needs to be tossed together, it needs to be fucking luxurious and delicious, right? Looks up there, man. Looks up there. I don't often serve my pastas in mounds, but I just feel like that looks good. Do you know what I mean? Like a little, I want to put my fork in, twirl it, put it in my mouth, sit on the sofa and watch like, come dine with me or something on the telly, innit? So, from here, we move on to the king of cheese, Parmigiano Reggiano. Gonna go. Don't drown your pastas in Parmesan, just give them a little, a little bit on top. I feel like everyone just fucking makes pasta to bury it in cheese. My dad's the worst. Like I make pasta and my dad will just be there like that until the cheese is like this. And it just fucking takes away from everything. For the last bit of special, just want a little trickle of olive oil, which is gonna give us a little pepperiness, vibrancy, freshness. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Pasta needs to sound like, bro. If your pasta don't sound like you've done something wrong. So look, yeah, the pasta went in yellow, and it's got like this tinge of red. It means that all of our sauce has coated our pasta, right? Everything's fucking together. We've tossed it, we've emulsified it. Our sauce is clinging on for its life, bro. All that's left to do is put this in my mouth. Do you know what? We didn't season our sauce because of everything that's in it. And the seasoning is just spot on. I've got salt, I've got heat. There's like depth from anchovies. Nice little pepperiness from olive oil. It's just a midweek classic, man. Right. What have I got knocking about? I've got some pasta, I've got tomatoes, olives, capers, anchovies. Oregano, garlic, chili flakes. It just makes sense, doesn't it? It's absolutely delicious. The pasta's fucking beautiful. If you are doing this, try to do it with a fresh pasta. It makes such a big difference. I don't mind dry pasta, but I always try to buy fresh or make it. It's proper salty and I like it. I want a beer though. Thank you for watching. Put an escort with your boy. And 
quite fruitless actually. Takes me back to making 50 of them a night.